Hey everybody, I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. A couple weeks ago, I got a package on my front doorstep, which was really cool. A friend of mine in Texas sent me this. Check that out. That's the green stalk vertical planter, and it's a really cool thing. I've seen a couple other garden bloggers uh, put this together and use it on their videos, and so I thought, well, since I've got that, let's do that. Let's, let's see how this thing works, if it uh, works like they say it's going to work, and what we can grow in it. So let's take a look. That's what this video is about. Now, if you check the instructions, here's what they say you need is one cubic foot or eight gallons of potting soil. Uh, per tier. So this thing has got five tiers I believe so I've got to have about five cubic feet of soil to put in which I went out and got some yesterday. So you can see kind of what it looks like. It's got some self watering mechanisms that go through so when you water out here everything gets moistened down here and then there's a drain with a tube that comes out the other side which is really kind of a cool thing. See, and this is from the instructions right there, how you see it can work. They've got these little trays on the interior of it that help to catch the water and slow the absorption rate inside each one of those little areas here. And then it all comes out the bottom, and you can just have it draining off your deck, or you could have it set up to another type of a pot to collect the water or anything like that. Now mine came with this rolling uh, stand that you have on the bottom. And then there's like a plastic tube that you hook in through here so you can let the water run out. So these trays will sit on top of this and just stack vertically up above. Now it's going to get quite heavy so I'm, I'm going to do them individually and then stack them all together here in a couple minutes. And I'll show you what it looks like after I've got a few of these put together. So this is what the rest of the kit looks like. It's got these little trays here which go on the inside and they help collect the water and let it kind of distribute out in each level and there's four of those pick those up here there's a cap for one end of something i think that goes on the top probably or well we'll figure that out in a minute there is a plastic tube right there for the drain the bottom then there's this top piece here which you can plant in and water in i would presume or maybe you just water into that I'll have to check and see what I need to do on that exactly. And then these are the individual trays. I've had them sitting on the back deck, so you've got a couple little visitors that are in there right now. And there are one, two, three, four, five trays right here that will do five levels of this. And these areas all get filled with soil. And you've got, of course, a hole in the middle, which these will attach in some way right there. I don't know if that's exactly how I'm supposed to do it but I will actually read the instructions. Something I noticed while putting these in is there's a little bit of a ridge right here. And if you take that ridge and angle it to the corners, you almost make a pie shape. But what's important about that is there's a hole in the middle of that piece of pie. So that is where the water is coming in and through. And I think you wanna be very careful and make sure that your water is going into each of these pie wedges and not kind of in the middle area. So you wanna kind of line it up so you have a piece of the pie to fit the puzzle here. So here we have the finished planter all put together, all five levels of it. And truthfully, it feels a little bit tall for me in that, uh, I don't know, I'm just afraid of perhaps over tipping or uh, whatever, but let's just give it a shot and see what happens. Uh, up here is the water reservoir, so we fill that up and it gradually goes through the holes and we'll start to water everything that's down below it. So initially we're probably going to have to fill it up several times in order to get enough moisture content in uh, all the planters down below. But we don't have anything planted in this just yet, so I'm going to hold off on watering until we do. So it's a pretty cool idea. It's definitely going to be very useful for somebody who has a patio garden. Uh, maybe they don't have space in the vegetable garden or maybe they've got some mobility issues and, and need something that's got some height to it to plant some things with it. Uh, definitely has a lot of options. One thing that I think is really cool is I, I live in Tennessee and the company that makes this is out of Knoxville, Tennessee. So it's really cool. I'll put a link in the description to some Amazon affiliate stuff where you could purchase one if you want and helps us out. But it's a really cool idea. We'll just have to see how stuff grows and how it performs and see what we can do with it this winter. So here I've got the completed tower done. 
we've got water going all the way through it. I went ahead and decided to do that just so I could see how it all flowed, how all this stuff worked. I put two little plants in right now. I'm going to add some stuff from seed later. I did one kale and one cilantro. We'll see how they do. Transplanting cilantro is always a little bit iffy. Uh, but we'll see how that works. And I'm going to add some more stuff from seed. We'll do some kale, some lettuce. And I'd love to do some snap peas because I kind of have this idea if they're up here, then maybe they can be trailing down and we can have some snap peas right off on the back deck. So uh, that's it for this video. I'll come back and I'll update you on how this is doing and what I think of it later. But I think it's a pretty cool thing. And, you know, like I said before, it's some people just right down I-40 from us in Knoxville, Tennessee, who invented this thing, and it seems to be pretty cool. So I'm Dave from Going the Home Garden. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.